So, okay, so grade six girls, let us continue. Greatest common factor, that is lesson 1.4. Please turn to page 26. And we have a question here. We'll start with this question. They're asking you about the prime factorization. They're not asking you about the greatest, okay? They're asking you the prime factorization or they, they told you, it's shown here. They have shown you the prime factorization of six, that is two times three, 12, two times two times three. Now see what is the GCF using the prime factorization, complete the diagram and write this GCF of six and 12. When I need to write the GCF, of course you will check the greatest common factor. Now, here girls, why did they write? The common prime factors are two and three because two and two make a pair and three and three make a pair. So we'll just do two times three, that is six. And we don't just write here the common factor as three, we write greatest common factor as six over here. Now, Miss, I didn't know how to like solve the, I don't really understand how to use the uh, greatest common factor and the distributive property to express the sum as a product. Okay, the, you, you, you mean you want me to explain the greatest common factor? Yes. Right. Like just the, this part, yeah. Yes, I will explain again. Now, if I say 24, it's four times six. And if I say 30, it's five times six. What is common in them? Six. six. You take six and then you put times, what is your left? Four, Four. And plus five, that's it. Oh, okay, so we take the common number, we see what yes. is there two of it, and then yes. we put what it is in left? the Like front. seven times seven, and seven times two. The common number is seven, you have seven left here, plus, and you have two left here, two. That's your answer. Okay. Got it. No. This, I don't understand number 23. Because 23 is a critical question because it's something different what I have taught from. They have asked you the prime factorization. They have given you the prime factorization. And then from that, you need to using when using prime factorization, we have to find the rule is, like if it makes a pair, I'm gonna write two. If it makes a pair, I'm gonna write what? Three. So what's my answer? Two times three, six. Till now, I was just saying you to see the highest factor, remember the greatest number? But if they ask you the question, they will not ask you because this is think smarter question. If they ask you using the prime factorization, complete the Venn diagram or complete the, write the GCF, then you do this way, right? You write what is common in both, both have one, two, both have three, I wrote here common. You multiply the common prime factors. Actually, this is called only the common prime factors. The GCF is six. The GCF is of course, you will say it's three, but why do I multiply with two? Because here we are also seeing the common prime factors. Still, if you don't get it, girls, this is not a question in, well, included in grade five or grade six for you all. We can proceed to the next one. Now here come the questions, girls, because we have a lot of time. I will discuss with you a little bit of your, what do you call as uh, homeworks. Did you all yeah. solve the homeworks? Yeah, but I didn't understand the first question. Number yes, one, I which see. question? In the homework, which question? This one, 36 and 90? No, the first question, question Three, number one. 25 and 10? Yeah. Simple, 25, tell me. We have one I don't and understand five. quite this instruction. We have one and five. For 10, you have, I cannot equals. I can put, tell me the numbers. It's 
It, it comes in the time to be of one, it comes in the time to be of five. It comes in yes, one, it comes in two. Yes? They're big numbers, but some of them are hard because there are big numbers. So they don't really know. For big how numbers, they're... you must, you know, for big numbers, like you can just do six times six, like you see. Or 36. Oh, so we basically multiply them and say, yes, and get the factors of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That will make your life easier. If you feel the but big numbers are difficult, time. if you feel the big numbers are difficult, go for the easier ones. Like go for these ones. Okay. I got them like this is only 14 and 18. See? Two, Miss, one, two, I, I got number five and number six. And and one, two, I got and three. One and one. I got, Miss, I got all of them right except question five. Question five? See, one comma six. Sorry, one comma two because six also come in the time table. It also comes in three. And then when you get six, you get in six. For 48, you get, of course, two. How do I know whether it's two? Because you see the last number if it's even number multiple of two you write two. yeah i remember what you said it comes in three like an even yes. number it means eight. like i got it also right because i put two at question number five okay right. why did you put two in the question in question five i know it's common but it's not greatest is this greatest six is greatest Okay. Any oh, questions, two. girls? Can I go to next? Uh, yes, Lisa, I got do you want me to explain the distributive property? The one hundred, I got it wrong. I put it. I put one instead of four. My dear, you know that. That's what you need to be very, very, very good at timetables. Okay. Anyways, everyone, please check your mails. And girls who are new, you can ask your friends how they are checking their meals, okay? Girls who are new to the school, please ask your friends. They will guide you how to use your account to check your emails. I will send you the answer key every weekend, okay? So Miss that you can tally your now, number. I want to see my answer on number question number 10. I did not give question 10 as a homework, I guess. Yes, I did from two to nine. Yes, okay, now that's it. Lesson five, we will not be doing it. We will not do lesson five. We will directly do mid chapter checkpoint today and you are doing in the class. I will call out your names and you have to do it, okay? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Okay, girls? Come on, let us start. Is this mid-chapter checkpoint? No, it's not mid-chapter checkpoint. What's the page number for mid-chapter checkpoint? Can anyone guide me? Please, can you tell me the page number for mid chapter checkpoint? I'm looking for it. Okay, I will, I will, I will take it out. It's okay. Yeah. Mid chapter checkpoint at page 35. Page 35, yes. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. Okay, I will give you time of 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, seven minutes. I want you all to do, please, please stick those questions. Question one, question two, question number four, question one, question two, question four. I'll, I'll, I'll be back after Five minutes and you must wait, complete. Miss. Wait, um, we need so the, the, 
Girls, please let me know if you are correct. The least common multiple of two numbers is greater than or equal to the numbers. Yes, okay. I didn't. The greatest know. common factor is. Now I will do question number four for you. One nine one two nine divided by thirty seven. One nine. One nine. One two nine divided by thirty seven. Of course, I don't have these two numbers. I have to take one ninety. So let me check. When does it come in the time table of thirty seven? Let me try with big number. I get one eighty five. I think this is appropriate. One eighty five, and then. 62, so 37 times two, 74. Did you do the same way? Yes, miss, but then I wrote under the 62, 37. Miss, but how is it 62? No, 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 it's not 62. Maybe that's what I'm it's saying. 16. That's what I was asking you. It is 16. 11, and it is 8. Yeah. That means. So that means it's 6, and then you put the 2 down. So that's 62. Oh. So I cannot take 37 times 2. It's bigger. So I take 37 times 1. Right? Yeah. And, and then, then again, 12, 37. You get 25, and then you bring 9 down. Then you can check with 37 times 6. 222. You'll check with 7. You get 269. No, you get 259. So here you have 37 point times 4 is 259, and you get a 0. OK? OK. Yes. OK. So the answer is 500 and 514. Did you all finish this? Yes. Okay, good. Now, if you have checked the answers, please. Don't write the estimate, just write the answer. And try to do it and write this answer. 177, the remainder is 74. Do you want me to do this, good? The fifth one, do you want me to do this? The fifth one. Yes, I understand it. I understand it. Do anyone of you want me to do question number five or no? No. Okay. So can I continue with question number six? Yes. Miss, uh, can I go help my sister really quick? Okay, sure. Okay. So question number six, what is it? It's 44. How did I explain you to do the prime factorization? 44 girls. I will do it on the screen. 44, you write it and you make a tree, you remember? Of course, 11 times, 11 times, what is 44? The easiest one. 11 times 4. Okay. 
Then how will I write this? Two times two. Two times two. So what is the prime factorization? 11 times two, 11 times, times, two, two. times two. Right? Yeah. Did you finish this? What? Oh, I didn't write it yet. Which question is this? Question number? Six. Again, 44. Plus, do we need to do all the questions? Like yes, 3, 4, 5, 11 6, times 7, 4. 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, all of them. We are doing all of 40? them. This will help you to make your skills stronger. Okay, I'll do so it. Tell me what is question number seven? Please, any one of you tell me what is question seven? This question seven is uh, 36. 36. Okay, let me call out your name. Feroz. What should I write here? Um, one. At 36. When do you get to 36? Uh, um, six. Six. Six times what gives you 36? Come on. Feroz? Six times six. Six times six. Six times six. Okay. Miss, can we also Anna? write, Miss, can we also write um, nine times four? You can write anyway. Dana? Uh, three times two. Three times two. Again, three times two. So what's your answer? Your prime factorization is three times two times three times two. You can write anything three times three times two. You can interchange them, no problem. But this has to be there, okay? Miss, I wrote two and 18. You wrote two and 18, you'll get the same, see, even if you write two and 18. Yes. You get everything same, three and six. You get two and three, and then you get the same thing. All same words. You can go any way as you like. Okay? I'm revising with you everything so that you get perfect girls. Those who don't know, please let me know today. We have two classes. I can work with you to make you better. Ask me, I think you understand. Who is this? Me, Jenna. Jenna? You do with me this one, 90. When do you get 90? Nine, nine times? times? Nine, um, one. Nine times one is 90? No. No, uh, 10, 10. Yes, this is question number eight. Okay, nine times 10. Then how do I, see, nine, how do, what, what, how can you get nine? Um, uh, three times three. You cannot see, that's what we very good at tables. You cannot do this further. And how do you get 10? Um, five times two. Five times two, very good. So you cannot get further of any of this, right? All are prime factors, like all times one. You don't have three in any other time table except one. So your prime factorization is three times three times five times two. Do you get this? Yes. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Yes. Now I get it. Yes. Miss, okay, what? Never what? hesitate what? to what? ask what? questions. That's Miss. your right. Okay, girls? Yes. Miss, what is um, number 13? Yes. Miss, I have a question. What is um, find the LSM? Lowest common factor. We'll do together, don't you worry. First of all, let me remind you what is LCM, and then you can do it. Did we do this? Just take out this page, page number 17.
page 17. Did we do this? No. Okay, so I will do this in the next class and then we'll get back to elsewhere. Okay? Till then, okay, we just do the greatest factor. What can you see in the screen? You can see greatest common factor. Can you see on the screen? GCF. GCF number 12. Number 12, yes, 16 and 20. How do you get the GCF? Yes, Jenna or not Jenna, Jenna got a chance. Jud Fahad. Haifa. Haifa. Yes. Haifa, when do you get 16? In which timetable? 16. In two, in four, in eight. Okay. And 20, I get in one, two, five. Four, sorry, four, five, and then not in seven, not in eight, in ten, and so on. What is common in that? Four and four. Four and four. Even two and two is common. Which one is greater, Haifa? Two or four? Which one is greater? Four. Four is the greatest common factor. Four is the greatest common factor. That's why your answer here is four. See here. Four is the greatest common factor. Did you get it now? You write down 16 yeah. and you see in which timetable it comes. It comes in one, two, four, not in five, in uh, eight. And 20, it comes in one, two, four, Five, what is common? Four and four, two and two. But which one is greatest? You will write here, greatest common factor. Okay? Maya. Miss? Maya? Miss? Can you tell me eight? In which timetable it eight comes? Eight? One, two, four. Even 52, one, two, four. How will you check whether 52 comes in four? You will check this way, you check. If you get a zero, that means it is a multiple. You get a zero, that means it, it comes in 50. Because see, you were asking me in the homework, teacher, how will I do with the bigger numbers? You will divide and check. If you get a zero here, in the remainder, that means it is divisible. All right. Okay. Now see, you have such big numbers here. Of course, this is four and four. You have such big numbers. But, but I don't understand, like, how do we, where, why did you divide it with four if you still didn't I was know checking. what it is? I was checking whether it comes in the four or not. Because I know in three it does not come, see? Three ones three and three seven twenty one. You have a remainder so, one. That means it doesn't come in three. I need to check for four. Oh, okay. So that's an easier way, easier way for us easy to check. Easy way for bigger right numbers, on. which you don't know yeah. the first time table it comes. Like example. Okay. If you know 36, okay, you know that it comes in one, two, three, four times nine. And then six, you know that 54, maybe you don't know, you forgot it comes in. So you must know six times nine is 54. One, two, 54 comes in one, two. You guys, question 14, put a cross mark. Don't do it, you will get confused, that's it. Question 14, put a cross mark. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. Miss, when I did 14, I got 